Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, brothers and sisters in Islam. Who is your mate? This is my mate. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. To proceed. Brothers and sisters, I want to give you a clear message today. And that question, or that message rather, is to question who are your mates? Who is your friend? What are your companions? Who are they? What are they? For whom are they? Why are they? Now, these are very important questions because we are shaped by these influences by our companions and friends. And we all know the story of the people of the cave. We all know the story of the people of the cave in the Quran. Allah Jalla wa Ala saved the people from shirk, saved the people from polytheism, and made them sleep in the cave. Now, there is a particular animal in this cave. And what is this animal? It's a dog. Now, Ibn Kathir, who is a classical exegete, which means someone who explained the Quran, he raises a question. He says, why does Allah mention the dog in the cave? Why does Allah mention the dog? So he thinks, and then he provides an amazing answer. And he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to us in a very clear manner that if your companions and your friends are pious and are good, then you will benefit from this even if you're lowly. Because the dog compared to the human beings is not on the same status. In some aspects of Islamic fiqh, jurisprudence, the dog could be seen as najas, spiritually impure. So from this perspective, Allah Jalla wa Ala is saying, the dog happened to be with the people in the cave, so because he was with good people and companions, Allah even saved the dog. So imagine if you, no matter what level of Islam you are, just have good people around you, imagine the blessings and barakah Allah Jalla wa Ala will give to you. Think and reflect on the story. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.